Barefoot in the Head by Brian W. Aldous, 1969. Excerpt from Author's Acknowledgements. This novel has been appearing differently fashioned in chunks in new worlds over two years, thanks to the encouragement of its editor, Michael Moorcock. The setting is a Europe which has been through a war fought with psychedelic agents. Its characters are madmen bombed, both literally and in the slang sense, back into the Stone Age. James Blish in Fantasy and Science Fiction Rising from the dust and ashes of a Europe still reeling from the effects of the Great Acid War comes Colin Charteris, a futuristic Don Quixote riding the mechanized brontosaurus of the times. Charteris tries desperately to make sense of the drugged, chaotic world he lives in and finds himself hailed as the new messiah. Stranger still, Charteris himself comes to believe this. His adventures as he tries to save the world from its insanity are brilliantly told, a satiric science fiction comment on the future of mankind. The Acid Head War A war breaks out between Europe and the Middle East countries. Europe is devastated by psychochemical aerosols. Tasteless, odorless, and colorless, these psychedelic drugs devastate Europe. Our protagonist is Colin Charteris. We first meet him in France as he's heading home to England. He is driving a banshee. A banshee is a concept vehicle from Pontiac. He arrives in England and finds it no better. There is paranoia, extreme terror. Also, there is extreme joy and psychedelic experimentation. He asks a man about the people in his village. Let me read from the book. Well, on page 42, one person's explaining to another what has happened in Europe. Don't be taken in by appearances here. Believe me, the old world has gone, but its shell remains in place. One day soon, there will come a breath of wind, a new messiah, the shell will crumble, and the kids will run streaming, screaming, barefoot in the head, through lush, new, imaginary meadows. What a time to be young. Charteris becomes a messiah of sorts. People start to follow him. Colin Charteris' followers form a convoy behind his Pontiac Banshee, and they cruise Mad Max style into Acid Head Europe. The drug culture and free love play prominently in this novel. The terror is that everyone is tripping. How can a society work when everyone's high? The language of this book is interesting. It's not a fast read. You have to parse what is going on. And at the end of each chapter, there are songs and poems. Here are a couple examples of the prose. Charteris and his followers are getting prepared to go on the road again. Here's a quote from page 201. Shops stood plagued open and trailed on the echoing gravements as men noised abroad and struck at each other with fan sticks. More than one fire was buckling up its lootage as they acid headed out towards the oceanic piracy of their motorways. Here's an example of the dense prose and made up language of this novel. Once again, it is as they are getting ready to go on the road. On page 257. Looking around at the hoofers and the revelbeels, with the groups starting up the famineers and the deutschophiles, and a quick brain scan, we got to orient with the action. Don't let grass grow under our teeth, eh? It's a lawn of Asia. Briefly, they made palm history. High road, low road, Scotland afore ye, never meet again. There we all parted. Frankfurt sign. Pox eaten pox abilities. Army farewell. So the acceleration of mechanical joy box and the old foot-down thirst of esolution, jerk of cerebral juices, destiny, carvorting down the long within and the crazy internal kilometrage, a brown near black in stressed master racing. Barefoot in the head is a weird pastiche. Mad Max tripping on acid. A reluctant messianic figure. 
leading a stoned-out entourage. I was chatting in the comments with Stephen E. Andrews on one of his videos. I mentioned that I was reading Barefoot in the Head. He said, As much as I like Aldous, I'm not a huge fan of Barefoot. I felt he was trying too hard to be like Moorcock and Ballard in that one, and not quite pulling it off. I give Barefoot in the Head 4 out of 10. This was the first of the Apocryphal Eight. Eight books that were selected for the Ace Science Fiction Special Series 1, but didn't make it into the series after Terry Carr had left Ace Books. Why Apocryphal? Well, there's a canon of the 38 books in the Ace Science Fiction Special, and then these eights are like the Apocrypha, similar to the Bible having some books, which are not included in all Bibles. I will have a playlist for the Apocryphal Eight, but I will also include them in the A Science Fiction Specials playlist as well. Have you read Barefoot in the Head? What did you think? How about other Brian Aldous books? Curious to hear your thoughts. Until next time, keep reading. <laughs>